yesterday, so let me kind of walk around and show you. But the things are happening around here fast. The changes are happening and I'm so into it. I already know you're gonna ask where this outfit's from. So I'll link it. I got compliments on it when I went to dinner the other night in like a non-maternity way. This is like a maternity outfit, but I feel like it's just cute in general. So I'll link it for you. A lot has been getting done around here. And it's starting to look really cool. This is still in progress, but you can already tell how good it's gonna look, especially if you compare it to the OG countertop. So this is a renter friendly vinyl. So you basically just stick it on and blow dry it. And look at how much better that looks. Like look at the overall colors now, how they go together so nice. Like this green and this peach all flows together super nicely. This was honestly an eyesore for me. So seeing this, I'm just like so into it. This is an affordable way to on a rental upgrade the aesthetic of your countertops now the bad part is you can't put anything hot on it so like if i have a hot pan i can't put it on the sticker part but that's fine we're just gonna like keep it on the stove but overall like hello so yesterday danny the designer that we're working with sent a text and said do you want to paint the ceiling of the living room and i was like you are so crazy but like let's do it when in rome so we're painting the ceiling of the living room. I'm trusting the process. I feel like it's gonna come out sick. These are the three swatch options that they chose. This is what we're feeling. So there's a lot of green around here in general. So we, because we wanna be fun and like paint the ceiling, we wanna pick the option that's the most blue since there is already enough green. So imagine this entire ceiling in this shade. I think it's gonna be kooky and different and crazy, but like, I think it's gonna be fun. Like, when else would we? Hello? Hello? Hey! Hi, sorry. Is that you, Britt? Yeah. <laughs> no, don't say sorry. Britt just got here. <laughs> You're so funny. Every day she walks in with the same Starbucks menti. It's oh, like. Yeah, yeah, I need it. It's like, life. <laughs> it's her personality trait. So, we're painting the ceiling this color. And I think it's gonna be funky. It's called Zen from Bear. Like, I don't know, just imagine this whole thing. This shade, I mean, here's some example photos. I feel like you're only in Miami once, like doing this vibe, like once. I mean, we're just gonna take it there. We're just gonna take it there. So I think they're starting to paint the ceiling today, actually. This big black credenza just came in. It's so cute. It's super antique and it was repainted to be this black color. And since this is like the main mirror where I'm gonna do my OOTDs and all that. I want the background of it to be gorge. So now she's here. There's gonna be two sconces here to give some light, to give some balance. And we're gonna do a big thrifted piece of art right here, like one big piece. I don't think the thrifted piece has been chosen yet. I think Salvation Army is where it will be sourced. This guy came in. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? If I look at it too long, it's gonna start getting creepy, but like, no, come on. This is adorable, obviously for the nursery. Oh, things are getting like very real. Seeing this, like it's huge. Like it is all, it's all happening. The office is definitely the room that's coming together the slowest. But I think I'm most excited for this room. The green being all on the ceiling and the walls makes it feel super cave-like. The desk, there was drama with the desk, but it's coming. The chair, there was drama, but it's coming. And it really is these paintings and these details for me, like this on such a dark wall is just gonna look so gorge. Like how gorge is gold on green this gallery wall is about to pop off of all the things that have gotten here for this room i'm most excited for this like imagine this office at night with some moody lighting and some candles in here like the dark room i want to throw a little love seat in here like a little couch because it's such a vibe and the color reminds me so much of the groovy room and it's such like a cozy den type feeling that imagine watching like a little movie in here. But functionally, I don't know, like am I gonna use the office as a movie room? Kind of like two opposite vibes. But this has to be the room that I'm most excited for. Since the vibe is so dark in here, 
we're gonna do like this dark wood table and my love sea and the vibe is gonna feel like I don't know scary therapist's office like imagine a scary therapist like a therapist's office where you go in there and they tell you you have some insanely rare mental disorder that can never be treated and you have to go in like crazy medication for the rest of your life we think like that spooky dark vibe there's something so cozy about that another vibe that's kind of giving me beauty and the beast you know like you know all those like golds like candles and like that dark creepy home that the guy I lived in what's his name the wolf not that movie low-key being like bestiality vibes by the way like the more you think about the concept of beauty and the beast like it's a little sus but i feel like it's a brunette rite of passage to grow up being obsessed with beauty and the beast in a recent video i asked you if we thought this rug was too much for this space and you basically said yes which i kind of agree with so this rug is going to be switched out with something more neutral and especially at night this place is so vibey like the colors really are so warm and like moody that this just kind of sticks out so i'm thinking something like this and i think just overall it'll fit the tone a little bit more and this will feel a little less random even though i do like it it's just i don't know it's gonna go So the backsplash is in. This backsplash has been very polarizing on TikTok. This is the thing that I think I've got the most bad comments about. I got, it's giving diner. There was one person that commented like, I'm sorry girl, but there's no reality where that backsplash will ever look good anywhere. Which <laughs> like, I don't know, I actually really liked the backsplash and now that I read the comments, I'm like, do I like the backsplash you're gonna have to trust the process on this project because it is maximalist funky and different and another comment because i posted this one tiktok and the comments were literally like girl like what there was one that was like her pregnancy brain like she's making wacky choices like it's the pregnancy brain there was another one like you're gonna get so tired of this in six months which the tea is like we're here for a year so that's kind of the vibe we're on we're taking it over the top, we're making it wackadoodly because we're here for a year, maximum two years. So that's why, like, I don't know, we're taking bold choices, we're making it funky because this is a temporary space, you know what I mean? Um, but now I'm looking at the backsplash, like, differently. I'm like, wait, do I like this or do I not? I don't know. I think what's going to happen is, well, first of all, it's not all in yet, so it's going to go everywhere, but these are getting changed because these are giving like those tables from science class. Do you remember those? Like, I don't know, it's not shiny, it's like matte, and it's not really all working together. So the options we have for the new countertop are this light green marbly one, which I think would look the best, because then everything will just kind of like flow together nicely. And then this darker emerald green option with these streaks in it, I'm leaning towards the lighter one let me know what your thoughts are i think the lighter one would look beautiful i think it would blend well yeah i don't know it's giving chalkboard it's giving science class and it's like the finish of it that i'm not into so this will be changed and i think everything's gonna blend together a lot nicer when this isn't so contrasty like it's just clashing right now so this has got to go so here is the update on the ceiling. Also, I know this rug looks wackadoodle. Actually, on TikTok, funny enough, the rug a lot of people liked. So, I mean, slay, but it's giving turf, it's giving grass. This is literally just a temporary rug 
that's here as a placeholder because the one that shipped in got messed up. But I mean, size wise, I'm obsessed. I love a super, super oversized rug. It feels bougie to me. It feels fancy, like I live for it. And the ceilings have been painted. I've never had any type of space really, like a living room with a painted ceiling. So this is definitely different. This is definitely on the funkier side. This is definitely way out of my comfort zone. I kind of love it. At night when we're watching TV, it feels so cozy. And I think what's really gonna complete everything and tie everything together is once there's art on the walls and things on the walls that make it feel less doof. Cause like when you walk in the room right now, the painted ceiling is very eye catching. Like your eye goes right on up to it. But once everything's in here and there's a lot going on, I think it's just gonna feel like a fun space overall and the office desk actually just came in so i'm so excited for it to get built because this is patio furniture that's just been chilling here for now and these cabinets are going to be painted the same color as the wall so they're going to look and feel kind of like they're built in but it's like a faux built-in moment which i had never even thought about doing that but now that i'm thinking about it i'm like wait that is kind of the most genius thing i've ever heard in my life okay i do have an update in the kitchen the peach is too peach so it is being repainted today. Kind of like the color of a latte, literally this color. So like this will be on the walls, the same paint style, but like literally this instead of the peach moment. I think it'll make everything flow a little bit better. And the peach, I don't know, the peach is giving a little bit like old time Florida, like you know what I mean? Like OG OG Florida. So I think we're gonna tone it down. So we're toning it down today. And I, I think, I don't know, what do you think? I feel like that's gonna really just like change up the vibe in here and make it flow better. Mm -hmm. 